Hi, you are welcome to my channel of Smart Polish. Myself Polish. Today in this section, I will start with the hiring challenge. And let me introduce that in the followed by subsequent video of this hiring challenge, I will solve one by one hiring coding question that is asked in Hacker Earth. So Hacker Earth is a best platform. If you are a good coder, then you can solve the Hacker Earth problem that is given by various company. And if you solve properly and all the test cases pass, then they will call for interview at their company. And if you uh, crack the interview, also you will get the job. And you know the Hacker Earth is a good platform to get the job more than ten lakhs. And uh, fresher level to experience each and every company is hiring through this uh, platform. I think. Hacker Earth and for coding purpose, I will suggest you to practice in Hacker Earth, Hacker Rank, or Lee Code or Code Chef. Those are also very good. So, without giving too much descriptions, let's get started. So, before giving the descriptions, uh, I will mention that the coding test is uh, started on June and the last date was June 30. So, I attempt uh, yesterday actually in June 30. Actually, there is uh, two coding questions and two should be algorithmic data structure coding questions. Here, the coding question screenshot is given here. So, I will attach the screenshot link descriptions below of this video. One one means the coding question of one of first screenshot, coding question of one of second screenshot, and this way. And two one means coding question of two of first screenshot and coding question of two of second screenshot, like this way. So, what is the first question? I already solved this question. So let's go to the here. So, before start the video uh, and uh, discuss about the code here i will mention or i will want to say that i solved the coding in python because i am pretty much or or you can say in moderate in python so i like python that's why i solved this thing in python so you can say there is a two challenge challenge one and challenge two so in this two challenge first challenge is given as an equal array for me so there is a they have a set of challenges so among that you will get only two challenge and you need to solve this one so equal array the x so what happened in this equal array you should have to give a number number is equal to any number and it should be integer number and after that you followed you should have to give a array and followed by you should have to give an another array where you need to find how many minimum swapped required to make the array i mean both the array identical okay so what happened suppose your first array uh, an array should be in binary so suppose uh, let's say the array is like um, 1001 this is our array so this is our array of like this so yeah, it is my first array and uh, and they ask to give uh, the second array 0101 suppose uh, 01 and then 0 then 1 it is our second array so how many minimum swapped is required um, to make the two array identical here the array of 1 and b you can say it is not identical how many minimum swap is required so n is uh, integer of the length of the array it will find so here n should be 4 so our basic condition will be happened when the length of a equal to n and uh, length of b equal to n and then we will proceed this application so we will proceed the coding so okay so my approach is going that first uh, we will compare the both array uh, element wise if we found for any of the array the ith element of the array same the element is same then we will replace this thing with another digit so what happened in that special case one and zero will compare it is not identical it, it, we will keep this thing remain same after that zero and one it is also not identical so we will keep change and we will not change this one after that zero and zero zero and zero both are identical so we will replace and zero and zero with another one why we will replace why not uh, delete this thing or pop up this element because it will face the problem in coding that's why i like to replace these things with a not a number so uh, not a number if i replace here and as uh, similarly i will replace here not a number suppose not a not a number 
and the same thing also happened with one and one so when one and one also the same so you can replace this thing to with a not a number and uh, the this element also same so you can replace a not a number so actually finally you got this two now how many swap it is required so i got the efficient method is that you will count on the number of one and number of zero so for that suppose we will take only a so in a how many one is there suppose one is there we'll count that one is here one and uh, in a how many zero is there so zero is there also one one zero is there so what should be the answer you should be the answer of minimum of the answer should be like this am i and minimum of a of i and a of zero i mean a of one and minimum of this one and with that you will add the abstract value of the a of i minus a of o it will be the answer so you should have to return this one so actually how many swap it is required if you swap the element from 0 to 1 then it is will be identical the swap condition is like that you can swap in the same array or you can swap from the another array elements okay so i will swap with the, the same array that's why i took only one so here the condition is the minimum of this one answer will be one so it should be one plus f of a of i minus f zero it is actually zero so answer should be one now so it is the basic concept of sorting in the element now let's start with the code i am directly discuss about the code and actually the date is what 39 sorry 30 of june 2019 so it is my approach to solutions if you have alternative solution or another ones you can put in the comment in the comment section below and trust me to make your a efficient coder i will not give the coding descriptions of this one in the comment section so i will recommend you to type the only the few lines of code and run your id and you will get the answer so actually it will you will get the most i mean i mean confidence about the code so let's see before so what happened uh, let me discuss about the section first uh, not this one this one so n is the input value will take so maybe it is four and uh, a will take a list of the integer so whatever the integer will take it will be space separated value and b also will take a space separated values of integers after that um, will i will uh, make this statement like this to answer uh, i mean we call to function of a b so whatever in this function whatever the function will be returned it will come as the answer and um, we will print this one so let's get started so here is my i defined and function of av av is the array so i first check the condition that if length of a is equal to n and length of b equal to n or not if it is happen then we will proceed neither if it is not happen then it will return minus one why minus one because in coding it is given that if there is a not uh, any of the condition is not satisfied then your answer should be minus one that's why i'm putting minus one here so when this condition is satisfied then i will check uh, that for i in range of n so if i uh, range is 4 n is 4 so i will be run for 0 1 2 and 3 so in that case i will check each and every element that a of i element equal equal of b of i element or not if it is equal i told this thing if it is equal for that case for 0 1 second element if it is the second element of both are equal then i will replace that a of i is equal to not a number and b of i is equal to not a number after that i am counting that how many ones is there in a and how many zero is there in b after that i will return that return will be minimum of i o plus absolute of i minus o whatever the thing i discuss about here the same thing i was written over here also to get the response so let's run the program and see the output so sorry yeah uh, 
uh, it is here so give a uh, input 4 after that and uh, give uh, the input values like uh, 1 0 0 1 it is my first array and my second array is um, 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 so what will get the answer you will get the answer 1 here you got the answer let's check with the another I will run the code again here again so give a 7 input suppose give random values like 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 so 3 yeah 7 uh, and give the another randomly like 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 so this means is how many uh, minimum swap is required 4 swap is required so you got the solutions hope you with I think you understand and please like my video subscribe to my channel because in the subsequent of this video or in this series I will discuss about only the hiring challenge so if you love the coding and if you come to the IT industry and if you want a job through hacker earth so please follow this video and share to your uh, those of the enthusiasm about the code and uh, they are really very weak in the code to enhance them and to give the motivational for that type of solution this is also available in youtube you can share my video and thanks you a lot bye